is an Emmy Award winning actor multiple times, and he is the author of this new book called Spirit of the Horse. He is none other than right here in the flesh, William Shatner. Good to see you, sir. Thank you so much. You can see in that picture you with the how, horse? The, how the horse is leaning in. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you were to analyze the picture, my attitude, the horse's attitude, there's communion. Mm -hmm. You see the communion between the two? Yes. And that's the spirit of the horse. And so when, when was the first time you ever got on a horse? Well, I got on a horse when I was 12 years old. I was in Montreal where I was growing up, mm -hmm. and there was a rental uh, stable, and I'd never been on a horse before, and I'd forgotten how I was able to afford. I think I was swapping out, uh, uh, swabbing out uh, stables, mm -hmm. and uh, they put me on a horse, and I galloped around. And uh, I remember my mother saying, how did you do that? And I said, I didn't know. I had an infinity mm -hmm. from a very early age, but it's expensive. And uh, I wasn't in the, in the uh, category of, uh, of that expense. So it took until I was middle aged and mm -hmm. had some money to buy a horse that I really got involved. And that's the story of the beginning of me and horses. Yeah. And then, um, you know, did you ever think about owning, racing? Horses or anything like well, that? Well, uh, I'm interested in all horses. Uh, mm -hmm. The horse itself is a magical creature for me. What, I'm, what I've am what i come to mm -hmm. is quarter horses mm -hmm. here in, uh, in California, uh, and in particular reining horses, and if you're interested, I'll explain that. And then I have a place in Lexington, and uh, I'm into show horses, American saddlebreds, okay. and American standard breds, trotting horses. And I've won world championships in uh, in, in in those things, and uh, saddles and blue ribbons and all kinds of awards mm -hmm. and reiners. Hmm. William Shatner here uh, on the Rich Eisen Show. Again, Spirit of the Horse is his new book. You need to go check it out um, in bookstores near you as well as on online. Uh, what would you? What's your favorite sports team? Which which team have you been a spectator of, or you you watch most, William? See, I, I'm I'm, how old are you? I'm 47 years See, of you're age. You're a kid. You're just you're in, you're in the prime of your life. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sitting behind your desk with your ass spreading out, but yes, it's it's That's all true. okay. No, well, it's on a daily got, basis. Uh, we gotta you gotta watch it. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're my age. Um, you're, uh, uh, you, you follow people who are older, like Peyton Manning. Okay. Say, so wherever Peyton went, mm -hmm. I went. Since Los Angeles didn't have a team, mm -hmm. and I couldn't identify, and I stayed angry at the Rams and, and, and uh, Oakland, mm -hmm. uh, the Raiders, I, 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 I had a hate on for them for having left the city. We can't have that. No. Okay. So now 20 years goes by, and we don't have a team, and we're, and I have Monday night football at my place, and twenty people come up. I mean, we really celebrate the football season. Okay. So Peyton became my hero, and now he's retired. Now he's retired. So what am I going to do? And now the Rams are here, and they have to, to be fair, mm -hmm. they have to generate sympathy and empathy, mm -hmm. and they haven't. From the sports fan here in Los Angeles, right? We, have, we've been orphans. Have you ever been to a Super Bowl? You ever done? You ever? Go you to know, a I I have been. Okay. Years ago, uh, but mostly Super Bowl at my house. So what is that? What is a Super Bowl? What is a Super Bowl at your house? At well, William I have Shatner's an eleven house, foot screen. Eleven feet. Yeah, okay. uh, diagonal. Uh, <gasps> the room was built okay. around the projection mm -hmm. uh, of an eleven foot screen. Yes. So that the the support timbers and beams and things like that. <laughs> timbers. <laughs> you know, well, where the ceiling is supported right. is wide enough to support the. To, to show the on the wall, right. the screen, this projection. So we have a room devoted to that screen mm -hmm. and, a, and a counter where a lot of food and beer and stuff like that is. Okay. And so maybe 30, 40, 50 people mm -hmm. are in the room screaming on Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. it's, I'd rather do that than go to a stadium. So are, are you a beer drinker, a wine drinker? Which one would yes. you say? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you're serving in, in the Shatner uh, household? Uh, yeah, right. Nothing hard because uh, okay. I have a long driveway, and, and if you're uh, okay. 
really up against it. You well, roll down the driveway and could get hurt. Or horseback, you could take. But you probably could go down on a horseback down there. You need special shoes because mm-hmm. of the slippery asphalt. Now, so, um, how did you get involved with Star Trek, William? When did you? When how did, did I that get fir- involved? Yeah. How, how did that first get started with you and your career? The the uh, the uh, iconic story goes like this. Mm-hmm. Um, they made a pilot of Star Trek with another actor, and NBC didn't want to buy it. But they were sufficiently enthralled by the uh, concept that they wanted to try again. Mm-hmm. And I was in New York doing something or other, and my phone rings, and it's Gene Roddenberry who wants me to come and see that pilot with the idea of playing the captain. So I went and saw the pilot, thought it was terrific, lacked a few things that I th- Made some suggestions, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and then we shot another pilot, and uh, and it sold, and we did three seasons of it. Did you have any sense at the time what it might be? What what, what it was you know? I'm asked that, and, and 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 it's like really like the Rich Eisen show is yes. really great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So 50 years from now, people are going to sh- point to it and say, now that is how you do a, sh- a radio show and a TV combined. Radio, TV, TV, and radio. Radio and TV, TV. The rich solve the problem. Yes. 50 years from now. Does that sound outlandish? Hmm. Let me think about that. Let me tell because you from my point of view. Yes. It sounds outlandish. <laughs> <laughs> well, because there is an I in Rich and Eisen, William. You know, I mean, I I'm, I'm, I'm sometimes get caught up in myself a little bit Well, here. everybody does, but uh, you can't afford to do that on the air. So you had you? no idea at the time, essentially, what no, was Oh, my God. It was, it was canceled in three years. Oh, that's another gig. Uh, I wonder what's next. Yeah. So then when did you realize that this was about another life? Six years later, mm-hmm. they started showing the outtakes where we had played the buffoon. Mm-hmm. Well, when I say we, I mean I. Um, joking around on the set. Yes. And they were filming. And the editors put together a, a Christmas show uh, of all the outtakes. Yes. So there were two Christmases in three seasons. So we had... 20 minutes were of a gag reel. Mm -hmm. Six years after it was canceled, I hear that the gag reel is being played in in bar. I was up at Mammoth, as a matter of fact, skiing. Mm -hmm. And and some bar in Mammoth was playing the gag reel. What the heck is that? Mm -hmm. And then that's when you realize something. I thought, why would they do that? I wonder what's happening. Mm -hmm. And then there were calls, and we're going to do a movie, and we're not going to do a movie. We're going to do a series. So there, there was... What happened was Star Wars is what happened. Star Wars gave new life to well, Star Trek? You think? there were shots fired, people killing themselves in Paramount mm-hmm. uh, over Star Wars. And they said, well, what do we got? Well, there's this show that was canceled, and maybe, and the guy, and his name is Roddenberry, and would he do it? No, I'm not going to do it. Yes, you're going to do it. I did a whole uh, documentary on on the story I'm telling you. No kidding. Yeah. So, well, you know, I'm William Shatner here, because, you know, there's there are arguments Amongst pop culture people, as to which is the better and more. There's no argument. Okay, and the argument is Star Trek. <laughs> no, I'm I know. A, I'm I know. A, I'm a guest on your show. I know with whom I'm talking. No, I know. No, but that that is that, that is something that people go back and forth as to what's real about the science fiction genre or not. Yeah, and so. You know, well, you would end it, the argument. It, 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 the argument is uh, Star Wars was so technically uh, proficient. You know, mm-hmm. there was great effects and stuff like that. They were they were the leaders. And, uh, ILM was the, and we, you know, there would be somebody like below pushing. A, this spaceship along the <laughs> You can see the yeah, string sometimes. Like, <laughs> whoosh, whoosh, <you> know. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. We'll we'll do that. Yeah. Uh, but the stories were good. Well, yeah. I mean, look, I, I got to tell you, uh, the Wrath of Khan, Star Trek II, was a phenomenal movie. How Just wonderful! In, in its own right, a phenomenal movie How from wonderful. start to finish. Because you were you were you were um, you were uh, honest to the original, as well as advancing it, and also you know the way that um, that the Star Trek characters had become of a certain age, and that was part of the conversation. Yeah. I thought it was phenomenal. How wonderful. I'm I'm delighted, Rich. Thank you so much. No, You You know they're going to do a showing somewhere along the line of Mm -hmm. the Wrath of Khan uh, in theaters. Yes. uh, Chosen theaters. I don't know when they're going to do it. 
Well, that would be that be something I would see for sure. William Shatner here on the Rich Eisen show. And when you screamed Khan, was that was that your own interpretation of the I, line? I, I think so. I remember. I scream a lot. Do you really? Rich Eisen! <laughs> I'll take this any day of the week. <laughs> William Shatner here on the show. Um, so, again, uh, you also had an incredible run uh, with the David Kelly programs as well. Uh, Boston Legal. Yeah, with Boston Legal. Um, when did you first get involved with, with David Kelly? Well, uh, uh, he invited me to breakfast and said, I've written this uh, mm -hmm. show and in this role. And uh, I, there's a, I do a one-man show in which I play the scene in which I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. he, he said, you know, the guy's a little... A little senile. Yes. And I said, I can play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, thus the, the role of Denny Crane was born uh, right I then guess, and there. Yeah. I guess so. Um, so, again, you've never you've been to a Super Bowl. Uh, would you ever try hockey? Did you ever try hockey up in Canada? Well, or? hockey uh, uh, hockey is the national sport in Canada. And I, yes. Uh, a a, a red-blooded, uh, although my blood is somewhat thinner now, mm -hmm. um, a Canadian. So hockey should be like a natural, but it wasn't. Uh, I went to uh, skiing. So I skied for my school. Uh, so you did the skiing? I, you, I did skiing. I, I was a pretty good skier at one time. Is that right? Downhill? Slalom? What are you? Yeah, all that. Jumping? Did you ever do ski no, jumping? No, no, not jumping. I never jumped. Hmm. Uh, I did jump on horses until uh, somebody said, you know, you can get really hurt. Um, jumping because mm -hmm. a horse will invariably refuse to go, and mm -hmm. um, and uh, our, uh, my friend um, uh, Superman, uh, yeah, Christopher uh, Reeve, uh, Christopher Reeve uh, actually died because of it. Yes, uh, I recall. Uh, for that. six months afterwards, after his accident, um, I kept thinking every time I put my foot in the stirrup, I kept thinking, I wonder if it's going to happen to me today. Well, it took a long time for it to go away. Well, I've, I've, this is right here in this book, your, your love of horses, spirit, spirit of the horse right here uh, on the show. we got the book right here, and you can get it online. You can also go um, into bookstores and get it. What's the one role that you, you wish you could have done that you didn't I, get a I, shot I at? I don't think that way, Rich. You I, don't? I don't know. I'm sure, you know, people said, should we get... Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a name actor mm -hmm. or Shatner, mm -hmm. and they got the name actor. <laughs> oh, come on now, William. Uh, no, I, I don't think of that. But I, I just finished a film that I really think is going to be good um, called uh, Senior Moment. Just literally uh, mm -hmm. a couple of days ago, finished filming it. It'll, I think it'll be terrific. Uh, I, I, uh, I've, I've got this uh, horse show that I put on every mm -hmm. year for th the last 30 years. Mm -hmm called, um, if you'll forgive me, uh, thepriceline.com Hollywood Charity Horse Show, sponsored by Wells Fargo. Uh, and uh, <laughs> I had to because every dollar that we get for this charity goes to kids and goes to veterans sure. to help them. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a lot of hippo therapy, riding th therapeutic programs, uh, which is part of the mystique of the spirit of the horse. That uh, horses, for some reason... Uh, can uh, help mm -hmm. people physically, emotionally, um, and have done so. I've seen miracles. I've seen kids walk who've never walked, shouldn't be walking. Kids who talk who've never talked. I've seen, I've seen veterans come out of their shell, come out of that thousand-yard stare mm -hmm. and communicate. I've talked to autistic kids. I've talked to autistic kids who've done the writing therapeutic programs. Something about a horse. The, I talk about the spirit, the soul, the heart of a horse and how I, I evolved from being a mechanical rider, oh, so much on the pit, then you pull, collect the horse, to getting inside the horse's head so that there is a communication between a rider and, 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 and horse to the point where I have improved my ability as a horseman every year since I started riding up until right now. Tomorrow, I'm going to get on a horse. Mm -hmm. I'll be a better rider for the sense of being inside the horse and saying, good morning, I'm with you, I'm here. I've got you collected. No, let's go over here. And he says, no, and I can say, yeah. And we're talking, nonverbal, mm -hmm. interspecies conversation. I have it all the time. 
Well, it's a wonderful book, Spirit of the Horse. Uh, William Shatner, you are a gem. Thank you for coming on the show. I having. greatly, greatly appreciate you coming here. Thank you. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me. You'll enjoy it.